What does the author want me to learn from reading this story? In this lesson, you will learn to determine the theme of a story by asking, what did the author want me to learn from reading this story? Let's review. We've just finished reading The Reformation of Jimmy Valentine, Safecracker. So now what? So now we're going to dive into asking the question of what did O. Henry, the author, want me to learn by learning about theme. A common mistake when talking about theme is to make theme small, to make it about one character in one story. But instead today we're going to talk about theme as being the big idea, the big lesson that we can apply to many stories um, and to our own lives. Let's dive in. First of all, let's define theme. Theme is the author's message or what he or she wants the reader to learn from reading the text. There's a few criteria for theme. One, that it's a life lesson. It is something that applies to multiple stories and multiple situations. Two, it's not specific to a story. It can apply to multiple stories and multiple situations. And finally, a story can have one, more than one, or none at all. Let's dive in. What is the theme of the Reformation of Jimmy Valentine, Safecracker? So I thought of a few. Love conquers all, maybe. What comes around goes around. People can and do change. You'll notice these are all life lessons. These are all examples of possible themes, and now I need to match it to my specific story. And I think, <clears throat> in this case, that people can and do change is probably the best lesson that I can start to look at. So now I need to see if there's enough evidence to say that there's, that this is in fact the theme. So theme, people can and do change for the better. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is to make a T-chart, right? So one line there, one line there, and I'm going to look at Jimmy Valentine. I'm going to look at him in the beginning, and I'm going to look at him in the end. Is there evidence to prove that the lesson is that people can and do change? So in the beginning, he was a sneaky bank robber who only cares about himself. By the end, he was an honest businessman who cares more about his family than about Detective Price watching him crack his safe, right? He knows Ben Price is watching, and he chooses to save his family. So we see that in the beginning, he's very selfish, and in the end, his family is the most important thing. This provides me with that evidence. So let's check our theme, that people can and do change for the better. Theme test. Is it a life lesson? Yeah, it is, because this can be applied in multiple situations. Is it not specific to the story? No, there are other stories that, that have the theme that people can and do change for the better. And finally, a story can have one, more than one, or none at all. Yeah, this is the first theme. So we have both given it the theme test and provided evidence. So you'll notice I went through a few steps to determine the theme. One, I want to review the text and what I learned from the text. Two, I want to ask, what does the author want me to learn? What does the author want me to learn? You're going to make that list that, that I showed you. And three, you're going to test and record your theme. So you want to make sure that you're looking for evidence and then that you're writing your theme down. In this lesson, you have learned how to determine the theme of a story by asking, what did the author want me to learn from this story?